Hello there you beautiful children. I am Bushra and today I am going to teach you all a new chapter and the name of the chapter is punctuation. You all have been learning this chapter since class 1. Today before I begin with the explanation of this chapter I want you all to know I want you all to learn what is the importance of punctuation we use punctuations when we are writing but why what's the need of using punctuation that's what we are going to learn and after that we will be continuing with the same explanation with little bit of advancement something new okay so don't worry this class will be like too easy for you and you're surely going to enjoy So to understand the importance of punctuation marks you should read the following okay uncle harry once said i am a person who believes in hard work i agree that uncle harry is a very hard working man it was like difficult for me to read no pause no full stop nothing and you know even the meaning is not clear uncle harry once said i am a person who believes in hard work i agree that uncle harry is a very hard working man things are not clear over here only one single line is there and everything is written in it and it's so difficult to understand what if whole book was written in this way we couldn't have ever understood what the author wants us to know okay so now do one thing read the lines again and they are written with the punctuation marks uncle harry once said i am a person who believes in hard work I agree that Uncle Harry is a very hard working man. Now this punctuation is bringing clarity in our writing. I am able to understand that Uncle Harry once said that you know he is the person who believes in hard work and I I agree that you know Uncle Harry is really is seriously a very hard working man. So punctuation it brings clarity in our writing. So this is the importance of punctuation. after we know the importance of punctuation now the definition is exactly clear it's totally clear like punctuation consists of marks that we add to our writing so that it is better understood look over here like we add this double quotes we gave comma we gave full stop we use capital letters for i we use capital letter for uncle harry so these are all punctuations okay there are some marks that we add to our writing so that it is better understood now some commonly used punctuation marks are as follows full stop we all know about it question mark hmm we know this also exclamation mark comma apostrophe uh, inverted commas and capital letters so in this lecture in this video we are going to learn all the seven commonly used punctuation marks and don't be like so nervous my god seven this video will like is going to disturb us it's not like that okay it was too easy everyone knows about it i think it's the easiest chapter so coming to full stop full stop it marks the end of a sentence or a command an advice or a request whatever full stop full stop it marks the end of a sentence can you see pavan came to my house yesterday a sentence so we are marking it we are using a full stop it shows the end of a sentence also if it is a command then also we end with the full stop go out at once full stop if i am giving any advice like you should respect your elders again a full stop or if i am requesting something please bring me a glass of water full stop so in order to mark the end of a sentence command advice request whatever okay we can use a full stop to show that okay now the sentence is ending over here that's all about full stop then we are having the second one question mark question mark it marks the end of a sentence that asks a question you are not going to use a full stop because mam has said at the end of a sentence we have to use full stop no 
if it is asking a question over there you have to use a question mark else you can use full stop if it is a simple sentence an advice a request or a command use full stop but if it is asking a question you have to use a question mark will you please drop me off at sonam's house question mark okay now you know when we are speaking we don't say all these things can you hear me children full stop i am not going to say like this we use this punctuation marks sorry can you hear me children i am asking you a question mark so we use this punctuation mark only while we are writing okay so my name is bushra full stop it's wrong we don't say it's only in for the writing purpose okay my whenever i am writing my name is bushra after that i will put a full stop so will you please drop me off at sonam's house i am asking so a question mark will come and does dipti likes to play football i am asking so a question mark how was it so right now we have done two of them we have done full stop and we have done the question mark coming on to the third one that is the exclamation mark and it looks something like this exclamation mark it expresses strong feelings or the sudden emotions okay our feelings like what a beautiful sunset i am appreciating is my feeling so whenever i am expressing my feeling i will be using this exclamation mark wow again this is also an emotion so again an exclamation mark is there what a sight like how beautiful it is again an exclamation mark how graceful the bride looks how beautiful she is looking exclamation marks okay alas we lost the game so again like i am so sad we have lost the game so look who we alas this is my expression i am using this exclamation mark and this is a simple sentence we lost the game simple sentence that is why it is ending with a full stop now coming to the fourth one and that is the apostrophe and we use apostrophe for two things number 1 is to show position we have done possessive nouns right so to show position we use apostrophe so this is my father's car okay this mean this car belongs to my father my father's office is very far from here so this office the office which belongs to my father okay it is very far from here to show the belongingness also we are using this apostrophe and the boy's dormitory is next to the dining room again we are showing the position look over here boys it is ending with s that is why we have just used the apostrophe and we haven't used s so like this we learned in the previous video only to show position we use apostrophe but it is also having a second work second function and that is to write the short forms for example i have if i am writing i can use the short form like this i have this is also i have but see i have put the apostrophe so when we are using short forms we use apostrophe like have not becomes haven't he is becomes he's is not becomes isn't they are becomes they are could not becomes couldn't so over here we will learn in the upcoming videos how to form these short forms so don't worry okay how to make this short form we are having little bit like one or two rules and then like we will be learning how to make short forms so while we are making short forms at that time also we use the apostrophe so an apostrophe is having two work one is to show position and the other is to show like or to whenever we are writing the short forms okay next inverted commas now so right now i was just trying to show that till now we have done full stop question mark exclamation mark and apostrophe so coming back to inverted commas 
inverted commas to show the beginning and the end of the actual words a person spoke okay for example i uh, told happy birthday to my best friend okay my best friend name is sabha for example okay so she will go home and she will say bushra told me happy birthday she is telling exactly what i told so whenever she is saying exactly what i told and if she is writing that thing she need to put my exact sentence between the inverted commas and like if she is not saying she went home and she said mama you know bushra wished me happy birthday okay she just wished me on my birthday when she is not speaking the exact word what i have told she need not put the inverted commas but when she is quoting the exact sentence what i have spoke okay it needs to be put in the inverted commas for example my mother said what did she say okay my mother said a comma will come we are going to pause okay my mother said we shall go to the market in the evening so this is the complete sentence that my mother has told now mummy ne ek sentence bola mother told a sentence so a sentence always begins with a capital letter you can see w e v v is beginning with a capital w and a sentence always ends with a full stop so you can see a full stop also okay now inverted commas hum kya karenge is sentence ke starting mein and at the end of the sentence so after the full stop we are going to put an inverted comma and before starting the sentence we are going to put the inverted comma don't do like this pehle inverted comma then full stop no it's not right the whole sentence should be inside the inverted comma so my mother said we shall go to the market in the evening the chairman said okay he said something we need to put a comma we need to pause for a second okay it is an honor to address this gathering full stop and then we are closing the inverted commas so is it clear whenever we want to show the beginning and the end of the actual words a person spoke we use inverted commas fine now coming to capital letters two is the extremely easy the first word of every sentence starts with a capital letter okay the horse galloped swiftly is beginning with the capital t our new house has a lovely garden a sentence begins with a capital letter also all the proper nouns they also start with a capital letter proper nouns are the specific names of uh, people person animal or thing for example neeraj monday mount everest the bay of bengal india the ramayana any festival dipavali holi they are all going to begin with capital letters if you are writing your name capital letter if you are saying my birthday is in september you are going to write capital s for september okay also whenever we are using nouns or pronouns to indicate god Do you know we never write God with small g. We never write Almighty. Almighty also means the God, the mightiest one. We always use the capital A, Lord, capital L. So whenever we are specifying, we are using any word to indicate God. Like since He is the Most High, the mightiest of all. Okay, we use capital letters to indicate God. Okay. Okay, so for example, even if in if in in English you want to write Bhagwan, okay, so uh, if you're writing Bhagwan, then also you will write B H A G W N something like this. Okay, so sorry, ah, huh? one second. So you are going to write capital B, something like this. You're not going to begin with small b, and even if supposing you're writing Allah, you will not write with small a. You will write capital A and then double H A H. Is it clear? so any noun any pronoun which you are using to indicate god it should always begin with a capital letter okay that also in the sentence if you get 
I or O. Okay, we always write the pronoun I and the interjection O with a capital letter. In the sentence, in the beginning, at the beginning or at the end, whatever. Okay, in the beginning, at the end, wherever you find capital I or capital O, it should, if you find I and O, it should always begin with a capital letter. For example, Timmy and I went out. You are not going to write small I. God, can you see God again starting with a capital letter over here also. So God, oh God, so this O, it will be with a capital O. Okay, it will begin with a capital letter. So whenever you find I and O, okay, the pronoun I or the interjection O in the sentence, it should always begin with a capital letter. Fine. Then the first word of a line of poetry sometimes starts with a capital letter. So for example, it's a poem. What is this life if full of... One second, huh? This video is becoming too long. Wait a second. Okay, no problem. Children, you know what we will do? We will just complete till here capital letters and I will be attaching, I will be making a separate video for the next part. Okay? Because this is almost like... 16 minutes above 16 okay so God oh, okay we were over here the first lines of the poetry sometimes begin with a capital letter so what is this life if full of acre we have no time to stand and stare see there's no full stop but then also the lines they are beginning with a capital letter so it's like this only sometimes whenever we are writing some poetry, something like this. The sentences, they begin with a capital letter. Okay, it's not mandatory. Full stop will be there. Then only we can have a capital letter. In poetry, it's allowed. Then, you know, the name of the book, the important words of a heading, and, the, you know, the, the name of the chapters also, they all begins with capital letter. A tale of two cities. The cricket match. Fine. So, right now, we have done inverted commas and capital letters also and we will be doing the comma part in the next video and also the exercise of this chapter in the next video. Okay, so if you have any doubt, you can surely reach out to me either to the comment section or on WhatsApp and hopefully very soon we are going to meet in the next video. Thank you for watching.